Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Gemini's week ahead for July 6th through the 12th. In this message we are first going to tap into the energies with the psychic tarot deck here. Then we are going to dig a little bit deeper into the message, get an overview with the fairy tarot. And then we will pull out a traditional deck. I'll clarify the message and I will also pull a few oracle cards at the end. If that's something you're interested in, you are more than welcome in joining us. So let's take a look here, Gemini, what we can see for you guys for July 6th through the 12th. Most important message here for Gemini spirit. What does Gemini need to see? For July 6th through the 12th, please and thank you. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing we do here every month for free personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And Gemini, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages. Gemini, what's going on here? The cards are just resisting chariot okay triumph move positive movement forward there could be travel in the works some type of intimate connection that's coming up here this is the The sacral chakra could also be something that you're passionate about, like um, a career or a business venture. And judgment. Get the sense here, Gemini, that there's there's some truth that's coming out. I, f I feel an urge to say the truth is being revealed. Something that maybe there was a situation where there was a lot of ill feelings or some tension between you and another person because some misinformation and this may be being revealed this week. So let's take a look here, Gemini dive a little bit deeper into this situation i do feel like there is hope i feel like you are going to be recognized they're going to recognize you for the energy that you've been presenting into this connection and i feel like this is kind of like a finally i'm being recognized that's the feeling it's finally happening the truth is finally being revealed Take a look, Gemini, what we can see for you guys for July 6th through the 12th. Please and thank you, Spirit. What does Gemini need to see here? July 6th through the 12th. Please and thank you. Four of Winter, this is the Four of Swords, Life Experience, this is the Tower, Two of Summer, I feel like there's a situation that's ending here, 
Now this could be for you, this could be for somebody that you're involved with, but this is going to set you on your true path. Now, I don't really feel like this is an, a relationship ending or any, I feel like this is maybe something deeper than that, the way that you're perceiving a situation. The shift, shift in perception. I feel like it's going to come from that truth being revealed, either to you or another person. There's a situation here that's going to be presented where somebody is going to be coming back into your life, Gemini, that I feel like you um, have had a deep connection with for a long time. This relationship... Now, I'm not saying that you guys are going to come back together and marry in July. That's not what I'm meaning by any means, okay? I feel like this is the beginning phases of this healing process in this relationship. But, again, everybody has free will, so you're going to have to determine what your outcome is going to be. There is going to be an opportunity that's going to be presented this week to you, Gemini, that's going to offer a sense of healing and positive movement forward in this connection, this soul tie connection. Now, for a lot of you, this is a soulmate twin flame spiritual union. Okay. So let's pull out a few cards here. And the deck that I'm using is the Radiant Wise Spirit Deck. Most important message here for Gemini Spirit. What does Gemini need to see? July 6th through the 12th. Please and thank you. The Moon in reverse with the Four of Swords. Ace of Swords with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Hanged Man, the Ten of Cups. Six of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. And the Sun card with the King of Cups. There's been some secrets, some... Um, illusions that have been hidden i feel like these are coming to light things are starting to be revealed and this is this is causing an environment for healing okay this clarity i also feel like there's going to be some clarity on why things have taken place the way they have why things have been unstable why things have been not as expected I do feel like there is a change. You're you're changing your perspective here on this family dynamic, on this happiness, on what your happiness truly is. Maybe you've been taking some time. I always recommend in a lot of my videos to getting clear on what that outcome is. Maybe that's something that you've been doing. You've been putting in the work, you've been putting in the effort, and now you're being rewarded here. Understand there's still going to be, this is the beginning phases of this healing process, so there's still going to be work that's going to need to be put in. So, there's still going to be time, there's still going to be effort, but trust the process. Understand that everything's balancing out, okay? Everything's balancing out. Do you feel like, for some of you, this is a new relationship coming in, for most of you, this is a soulmate connection. And whatever is being revealed here is bringing in an opportunity to reconcile. Now, I don't see you guys being in a relationship right now. I feel like this is happening very slowly. This is a very slow and steady process. There's maybe 
I feel like there's been a lot of water under the bridge between you guys in the past. But you are coming to a new understanding, having a new perspective on this relationship. I feel like this person is also having that same perspective shift. We have the four of wands here. That is a soulmate connection. We also have the two of cups here. That is a soulmate connection. I feel like there's still some barriers here between you guys. There's still some things that you're going to have to work out, some things that you're going to have to discuss. This week, there may be com some coming together or some traveling or talk about travel to come together. Um, understand that this is a slow process. This isn't going to happen overnight because of this right here, this three of swords in the reverse. You guys are both healing from whatever trauma that you've put each other through because I feel like you guys probably mirrored. If this is a past person coming in Gemini, you've mirrored each other for a long time. You've mirrored each other in this relationship. Also, for some of you, this person is still having to heal from their rebound. Okay, that karmic, there's a karmic connection that they may have had to walk away from and they're still having to heal from that. So allow them the process to heal, Gemini. Okay. Again, for this week, I feel like this is just the beginning phases. Okay. So let's get a few cards out here for your advice for this week. How we can move this forward for Gemini. Please and thank you, Spirit, July 6th through the 12th. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended version, we'll take a look at, into what this person's intentions are moving forward. We'll also take a look at what are the next steps, right? Where this is all headed. What's the outcome if the guidance is followed? Pull out the blessing cards and the soul truth deck for the lesson. If that's something you guys are interested in, you are more than welcome in joining us. The link will be below in the description box. There is an error here, Gemini. There may be, like I said, somebody that they're still having to walk away from, okay? We have the five of wands with the seven of wands, okay? So this is like a competition, competing energy, going, fighting each other for something. And somebody is very defensive here. So just be cautious of that. Be aware that this person is still healing from a situation. They're um, still moving, moving away or, or moving. They may actually be moving out of this person's house. Trust your intuition with that. Okay, so if you feel like this person is still involved with another person, then it's okay for you to state, you know, that's that situation is why you're not wanting to move this forward. But you're going to have to have a conversation with this person about you guys coming together, about where this is headed, what's all what's all happening between you two. Again, trust your intuition here, Gemini. If you feel like this person is still involved or there's still going to be drama, then distance yourself from them. Again, this is hap this the healing process is happening slowly. They're definitely going to have to release any connections that they're in before this process will be complete, for sure. Okay? So just trust the process, stay focused on yourself, your goals, and your healing process, Gemini, and this person can be secondary to all of that.
get this little journey card out here for you guys. If you find this message was helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, Gemini, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated and it does help with the growth of the channel. So thank you guys so much for that. The soul journey card coming out for you guys for this week is surrender. I can release my need to control. You need to understand the distinction between power and control. You have the power of internal control, but very little external control over people or situations. The majority of your external control is through the power of influence. You can lead by example. Every soul has its own unique path and it is not your job to dictate it. Giving advice or direction in a compassionate manner is the way to go. Your soul too has a path and you possess the power to control it but you must surrender the illusion that you have control to another, over another. Remember that this is a process and from time to time your ego will rise up and demand that things be the way they should be. Envision a hot air balloon being loaded up with all of the things you think you need to control and let them ride away in the balloon. You'll be surprised to find that when you release the energy of control and accept the energy of surrender, doors will open that you never expected because you have now given the universe space in which to materialize what is needed for your highest soul growth. So Gemini, I do feel here there is going to come a point in time, whether this week or here soon, when you are going to need the, you are going to need to release control over the situation and allow things to happen. I do get the sense here, Gemini, that you may try and push this in the direction that you want it to go. What Spirit is trying to tell you here is if you want things to work out in this connection, you're going to need to sit back and allow. Again, remember, this is the beginning phases of that healing process. So how you react in these first stages is definitely going to be crucial in where this is headed. What you get out of this. So Gemini, let's get a power thought card out here for you guys for this week. I release all fears and doubts. I now choose to free myself from all destructive fears and doubts. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I am loved and I am safe. Beautiful Gemini, beautiful. So Gemini, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.